The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, I've been doing this show for 17 years, and as Don McLean said in that wonderful uh, musical thing, The Day the Music Died, which was a tribute to Buddy Holly when he passed away on an airplane crash on February the 3rd of 1959, I believe, out there in Iowa someday in, in, the, in the middle of a snowstorm, much like they've been having but I would, would like to try the very last ABCD pattern that I will ever use. I'm moving over to moving averages uh, starting on Monday, folks. I've got some really interesting ones that look really good, the crossovers of the 50, the 150, the 250, the 300, and the 400. And when they come out together, it'll look, look very, very interesting. But where we are right now since uh, October of uh, 2022, where we made a bottom, and then we made a bottom in October 2023. Uh, the ABCD on this weekly chart, which most of you know that I don't do weeklies, but uh, we tried the short side on Sunday night at uh, 48.92. Uh, uh, we put our stop at break even. It only broke to 20 handles, and we were stopped out of that uh, yesterday, I believe. But you'll look at this long term weekly. Now, this is the cash. This is not the cash. This is the futures. Is the March futures were on the board two years ago. So it's just coming, it's finishing up right now. Well, I don't know if it's finishing up. You can see up in the right-hand corner here, the D price is uh, 45.35. Uh, so far, the high has been uh, 40, excuse me, 49.35. So far today, 49.33 has been the high. So uh, remember, we were shorting it right in here. And uh, what we did was we got stopped out and moved on to another thing. So we'll be uh, paying very, very close attention to this over the next few days. But I am excited about this new uh, moving average. It has some oscillators. We've got some percent R's and we got some relative strength in there. And uh, one other one, the, uh, the uh, trend channels from, uh, uh, um, I can't remember, Joe, uh, uh, let me see. <laughs> John Bollinger bands are fi fixed in there pretty good. So anyway, by the way, uh, when Tom Crew, uh, Tom Keene was fired, to, well, he wasn't fired. He was basically fired 20 years ago at the top of the dot-com bubble. Our good, my buddy Mark Keynes was at, uh, started CNBC with uh, Sue Herrera, you know, back in uh, 92, 93, whatever it was. And uh, he, uh, he was fired. And, and a week later he died. He died of a heart attack. He had a broken heart and he died. So. You don't have to worry about me dying over a broken heart, folks, because this little pattern's been serving me well through the years. Those of you that were in the gold, we made some money in that today. We had a nice run in the crude oil. I'll bring this up here uh, one other time to let you see the crude oil. We had a just an absolute spectacular target on this, and uh, it was working very, very nicely. And then also uh, we were shorted the April cattle today which uh, so far has made just uh, peanuts, has not even enough to make peanuts. But there's your first ABCD pattern right here. And then if you look at the other ABCD pattern right here, you got it lined up uh, pretty good. Now, if you add the moving averages to it, you can see this is uh, one of my favorites, which is the 13 culmination of the 12 and the 19. You'll notice that it did bring some support in here right at this level right here. So we'll find out. And you know what, folks, <laughs> I'm in such a bad mood because of this Internet problem that I'm having that it's just it's just absolutely comical. I mean, it just this uh, this place is spectacular, except for the fact that the Internet, I guess they don't want people to use the Internet while they're here. Anyway, that's me. I'll be in a regular place here um, tonight, hopefully, and then we'll be uh, having a show normal. All right, let's move on to a couple other things that we want to be talking about here. Just to show you today, oh, by the way, those of you that have asked about the, the bonds, okay, we've been waiting to buy the bonds. Let's get this up here very diligently. We've been waiting to buy the bonds right here. Let's just get this up, get this out of the way here. 
There's our number right here is 1824. Folks, we're now less than a point away now. You see that? We're less than a point away. So if this is any good, and we got the, the uh, numbers out tomorrow for uh, GDP, DPZ, ABC, whatever those numbers are. So those are some of the things that we want to be uh, want to be looking at. And uh, hold on, one other thing. I wanted to talk just a tiny bit about silver because we had a really interesting move in silver. You, those of you that got the videos, and folks, I know some of you have not received the videos, at least not on time, and that's mainly because of what's happening here. I apologize. Uh, hopefully this will be the last day of it, but here's what we've done so far. We've had this big break in gold. We got out of We bought gold at 26 yesterday. I recommended early this morning, long before gold was ever, uh, it was a trading at uh, 2020, 2034. I had been 2038. And I said, it's not acting well. You've got to get out of it. And so whether they did or not, and the reason why I said that is if you looked at the price action and what's happening to silver, you see the high today in silver. Now, this is an hourly chart, folks. I'll blow this up. You see, it hit it twice in this hourly time frame. So this is a very significant uh, point, in my opinion. Right here is where we recommended yesterday on the 23rd. We, we've had that little pullback right here. And this is an hourly chart. See, it took six hours for it to make a 382 retracement. And I said, this looks like it's ready to go. And that's why I said buy the gold. I'd like to buy gold rather than silver, uh, mainly because I trade gold more than I trade silver. That's the primary thing of what I'm watching here. Okay, now, those of you that like ABCDs and all the other stuff that we talk about here, let me see if I can get some of these charts up. I've got so many of them. I'll have to I'll have to cascade them here. Hold on one second. I wanted to. We have one that really looks interesting here. They all look interesting, don't they? Hold on one second. And that is oh dear, lost it. Bear with me, folks. So get the old February uh, April live cattle out. Hold on one second here. And uh, there is April cattle. And we want to do the daily on April cattle. And uh, let's get it up here. You'll see here today. We were looking for the April cattle to get to 78.40. The high has been 78.40. That's a 382 retracement. Those of you that follow 382s, there's one here, one here, one here. We have beautiful three drive to a bottom pattern right here. Uh, regarding the uh, seminar that I was going to be doing here with Tom Hugard in Las Vegas uh, in April, I have contracted with the beautiful Palms Hotel for the uh, 52nd floor of a most beautiful panoramic view of the, the, the out Valley of the Wind in Las Vegas that you have ever seen. And we're going to have that for two full days, breakfast, lunch, and that'll be in April sometime, possibly May, but right now it's looking like April, and it's going to be uh, really quite spectacular. I'm going to have some guests in. Hopefully it'll be Paula Webb Douglas and also Rich Anderson, Jim Twentyman, putting the old gang back together. For a Saranara tour of Las Vegas. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. 877 6648 Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educate investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, first of all, I want to issue an apology about the moving averages. I really respect the work of Basil Chapman and Steve Rhodes, and they are very good at it. The reason why I don't use uh, moving averages is because they're moving in their average, and I think you've got to be a tiny bit above average. They are good for you know showing support and resistance, just like other stuff is, but I just don't use it. The second reason is the three greatest traders that I ever met. One was, uh, of course, Amos Hostetter. And then also we had a fellow named uh, uh, Roy Longstreet. And uh, also we have uh, another gentleman by the name of Rich Anderson. And they don't use uh, moving averages. And so I decided that I don't. And Larry Williams doesn't use move. Well, he, he mentions them once in a while, but uh, I, that's the main reason. So I apologize for that. And believe me, folks, it's all related to the, the, the mood that I'm in here, given the fact that I've had all these problems. But let's get to something more important. Because I was having a little difficulty on being here in Las Vegas, I decided to play with the greatest poker players in the world. I went down to the Orleans Hotel last night at 7 o'clock to play in the tournament. It's a $100 buy-in. There were 150 players. And so the most you can lose is $100. Uh, first, place, first place is $1,000, but you have to get down to the last 10 players in order to be in the money. And I'm down at about number 15, and we have 15 players left, and I had just enough to get me under the wire to get my money back plus about 100 bucks. So I said, well, we'll have to get to the end and see what's happening. So I got very, very lucky. I had a pair of 10s. And I flopped the 10, which gave me uh, three tens, and I won that hand. And so we got down to five players and then four players and were four players. And all I heard all night long, everybody there was the greatest player in the world. I was the only one that was not the greatest player in the world. Folks, listen to the, the uh, confidence that these guys have that they're so great. That, and believe me, some of them haven't worn a clean shirt in two and a half weeks. I happen to be one of those. But anyway, we were playing in, and so I have to explain the hand. I'm on the button, which means I have the advantage of seeing what the other players are doing. There's only four of us in the hand, and usually you only play heads up. This time, three players are already all in, and I'm on the button, and we're four players. So it's the best hand wins, basically, what would happen. And I had a deuce four of clubs, which is a – 
bad hand, but, you know, I'm playing against three other players. I don't know what they have. They could have aces, kings, queens, whatever. I don't know what it was. But all I know is that if I hit that hand, and it's a crazy one, I would win. So I go all in with my – I had 300000 Well, 300000 was paper money, of course. So there's only four of us. I put all the money in the pot, and I have a two four clubs, and they put out the first three cards, and it was the ace of diamonds, okay, three of hearts, okay, and the five of spades. So I have a one, two, three, four, five. I have a bicycle known as a straight to the wheel. It's five high straight, ace high straight. Actually, it's a five high straight. And the other players, one had a pair of nines, another person had, uh, I forget what, uh, ace king, and another was an ace queen. So we're all in, and the board is one, uh, three, five. And then the guy that had the nines, he catches the third nine. So he's got three nines. If he gets in board pairs, I would finish second. And anyway, it didn't end up. I won the tournament, and I uh, I ended up winning $900. So uh, I would have liked to have donated it to the Internet service here, but nothing else I could do about it. So I, I left a nice tip and thanked him. I didn't finish till 1.30 in the morning, which was a little beyond my pay grade. So I basically stayed up to get everything ready. But by the time I did the videos to send out, I didn't realize they were not going out because uh, it supposedly in the middle of the night, the internet is a little bit better, but that's not necessarily the case, but that's neither here nor there. So I see what, uh, see what happens here with some of these others. Okay. Let's move on to this trade here, possibly coming up here in the treasury bonds. And let me explain to you, we've got that big number coming here tomorrow. Okay. So, and that's uh, everybody's watching these numbers. I don't think they mean anything anymore because everybody knows inflation is over. The Federal Reserve has been dropping rates for a long time, which they have not. But anyway, that's what we're looking at. Here is the daily chart in the Treasury bond. Here's the problem. If we go down to the weekly, and folks, I have been very bearish. I've been very bearish with bonds. If you remember back here, uh, with a 135 pattern. You see that beautiful 135 pattern we had on the weekly? Okay. Now, remember up here, this was uh, two years, two and a half years ago, right there where number one was. You see that number one? You remember what they were telling us there? We've got negative interest rates coming, boys and girls, so you don't ever have to worry about interest rates anymore. They're going to be going negative. I see. yeah, I, I, can, I, can, I can dig that. Yeah, I'm there. But look where we are. We came here, and we made a 61% retracement off the high here. Okay, we made a 382 off the high here, and we've been coming down now for one, two, three, four. We're in the fifth week down and we're not quite to the 382. You see, the 382 comes at 11824, 28, 11828. Okay. Now the problem is, if there is a problem, this thing, if that report is bad, it's going to go through the 382 like it didn't even exist. But if it doesn't, and if it doesn't, if it can hold that number, then you're okay. So the $64 question is, should I take the trade? Well, the answer is yes, and the reason why is you don't know what's going to happen next, nor do I, and neither one of us should ever care about that. So what you want to do is you're going to do this trade, and it might be today or tomorrow. Hopefully the, the numbers will already be done. You can see here we're, we're setting it up for right now. We'll just draw it in here. There's your, there's your order right there, 118.28, right there in that red letter. So all we're going to do now is we're going to put this over the last five trading days, you're going to see you're going to be right down to that old uh, number that we're waiting for, which is right there. There it is. So that's what you do. And guess what? You just put your stop in and pay for the best. You put 20 tick top, 20 tick stop on it. Okay. But one other thing that if that thing goes through there by quite a bit, and I mean considerably down to like 118.05, there's your stop right below here. There's your 20 ticks right below this 1.618. It gets below this. There's a trade that is mother God and country, and that is this. If it goes smashing through there, whatever that low is, let's just try it, try it, because they got so many people trapped in these things that I think it could be really exciting. Whatever the low is, let's say the low is way down here, okay? All right, so whatever that low is, find out what that low is after it smashes through here. This is where you'd be buying. There's where you get stopped. Wherever it goes from here, Whatever happens after that point, watch for that 382 coming back because, folks, these bonds are in big, big trouble. Look what's happening in China. They're doing everything. And they've had it. we've had a little bit of a rally in China. In fact, 
If you liked A, B, C, D, let's just, and I do, let's move right back here to see the old hang thing here. We'll do the weekly, uh, uh, sorry, it was a daily we were looking at. Uh, yep, there is a day. Look at this. Things had a nice little rally. Son of a gun. There it is right there. There was your rally. There's your ABCD again. Uh, the only difference between the S&P, uh, this is a three drive to a bottom. The S&P is three drive to a top. That's all. Now look at the rally that we had here. We said this in several videos. The last rally we had was like this. So you go over and you move this, move it over. Bada bing, bada boom. There it is right there. Well, that's it for the half show. Let's keep our fingers crossed. If we can make it to the finish line, 877-927-6648. But it doesn't make any difference because all the lines are filled. You'll never be able to get through. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. We're taking a look here at the March natural gas. This thing has been really hammered uh, you know, for quite a while now. We had a 382 way back here. At 250, we had a big gap down here uh, on Sunday. And you'll notice here uh, that we rallied back to the 382, which is at 225 here uh, today. We're trending slightly below that. But this, this uh, something's wrong with natural gas. We can't even get propane uh, for your barbecue pits in Tucson, folks. There's, they just don't have any uh, fillable uh, 
propane canisters uh, everywhere I've tried, which was well, Ace and the two other hardware stores, Lowe's and the Home Depot. They do not have it. Why I don't know. I mean, it's, it can't be in short supply because look at the price of the of the natural gas. For God's sake, if you look at this on the daily, this thing has been totally massacred. Look at this. This was just just since uh, uh, October, we've gone from 360. We dropped two thirds of the price all the way down here. The 220, we did make a new low, so that's a possibility of a of a little bit of a of a uh, move to the uh, upside. But look at the weekly on this, folks. We were at ten dollars. Well, oh my gosh, it doesn't even because this is March. See, when when this was trading at ten dollars in the spot, the March for <laughs> oh, they're clever little devils, aren't they? Anyway, they re, they assumed that there was going to be a shortage. Let's just do the. Long term, well, you can't do that. Well, you know what I can do? Hold on. I can do this. I certainly can. Hold on. We'll get this natural gas up here, and this should do it a little better. Nope, this doesn't do it either because what they've done is they've switched over to the other one. There we go. Where we were last year, we were at 10 bucks. Now look where we are around. This is what they call a discount, boys and girls. This is a discount right here. You sell it at 10 and you buy it at 2 that's what they call discounted to uh, fair value or whatever it happens to be. Okay, let's move on to the question of one of the things we want to look at here is Boeing Airlines. They're having some trouble here. Uh, they're saying that the uh, someone in the news said that it wasn't the fault of Spirit Airlines, that plugging hole in the, uh, the door that blew open, that it was the fault of Boeing. And so Boeing is probably down a little bit today. Someone's asked me to... Take a look at it. Here's the daily on Boeing, and uh, there's where we are. You can see here uh, we've had the, this is when the news happened right here, folks. Back here on January the 5th, that's when the door blew off. Uh, we came down. We stopped at the 70 um, level, but you see we have a little five-day rally here. Oh, it's actually the market's up today. I think that's good. The fact that it was, that it's been up with the very bad news. So the uh, guy is there, the CEO is in, in the talking to the senators, and we're going to find out what that means here uh, one of these days. So that's the, the Boeing Airlines story. Now let's move on to uh, back to something that I know a tiny bit about, and let's, we're going to take a look now at the soybean market because uh, we had a very interesting pattern here in soybeans. If I can find a chart, there, there, there is where we are. Okay, here's where we are. The soybeans, remember we were trying to buy this, get the hourly up because I already took the stuff off. But see, we were trying to buy it down here. You see, we were trying to buy it there at this level right here, 20, uh, 40, uh, 1217 with a stop right below here, 1196. But, you know, you can see that never got there. But let's look at this from just going back to the last significant high that we had. And I'd have to put the daily up for that. Hold on a second here. Okay, there's look 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 at this rally, folks. <laughs> this is a one, two, three, four, five day rally, and it's basically gone nowhere. I mean, I, I would like to have seen it to go there, but if you take a look at this on that hourly chart, you can see we'll blow it up here that we have a really nice a, B, C, D patterns that were forming up here at the 1.618 expansion right up here. Where did it stop? Right there. Okay. Now, that's what we're watching. Now, if you did the A, B, C, D on this, there's your A, B leg right here. Okay. There's your C, D leg right in here. You see, that came in at 12.52. That's where you sell it. Stop is above the 1.618. So, you're basically even. You've been here all day, but your stop has got to be here at 1261. So you're risking nine cents is all you were risking. So that's what we're watching in the soybean. So far, it's okay. Now, remember, we got the, the crop is not even close to being uh, planted yet. They're probably still playing at the poker tables there in uh, Teacock, Iowa, just deciding where they're going to plant the beans this year or the corn. So they haven't begun to start to think about that. So prices are going to be jumping around quite a bit. That's why we're watching the corn, the wheat, and the soybeans, the soybean oil, and the soybean meal. We're watching them very closely. But all we have now is this ABCD short. You got an ABCD in a bear market, so you should sell that. That's basically what Gartley said in his book, okay? Now, let's take a look at the gold market. This is one of the videos that we sent out. I want to show you where we were yesterday because this is one of the videos that we sent out. We're using the hourly chart. 
and get it up here. We'll be able to see. We're originally looking for this right here is what we're looking for, which is 1979. That's 40 bucks from where we are right now. Okay, this was a year before silver and gold topped in January the uh, 20th of uh, of 1980. Uh, and that's that's when gold and silver topped. Silver was 55 bucks an ounce, and then uh, gold was at uh, 860. But folks, I was really involved with silver back in those days, and silver on the board was showing 55 dollars an ounce. But believe me, none of the coin dealers, in other words, the bags of coin that are 90 percent silver, they never traded above 38 thousand. They never even got to 40 thousand. So these coin dealers were pretty smart. They were hedging. Silver, 17 cents under the board, and of course it went to $4, but I don't think anybody stayed that long. But here's where we were last night. I thought there was a possibility that we were going to blow this up because silver had just taken off to the upside. Get this up here. And this, so what I said to do is to buy the pullback right here, which was at 26. Pull this up here, and you see, and there's your buy right there. It's 61% retracement there at 2026 okay now this morning early this morning i sent this out saying look silver is already way up here it made the 1.618 expansion and the 618 expansion of the previous week i said you haven't even taken out the highs of last week yet and i said this is not good action i said either get out of it now or put your stop at break even and i said just get out of it i didn't even give them a choice i said just sell it and it was trading at uh, 34 when I said it, and now it was down. I got lucky on one, son of a gun. Once in a while they work, sometimes they don't. But let's keep a close eye on it because where we are right now is we're sitting right at the old 78% level today. That's been the low so far today, right to the old Ticarino, right there at 12. But I believe, like I said, we're going to 1979, 1980. That's where we're going to be heading for it in the next few days. So gold is now still down about nine bucks on the day, but we'll uh, find out what's gonna happen with that uh, down the road a little bit. So I think we've got a commercial due. I'm not sure, let's just double check the old clock on the wall. And it tells me that uh, I've got 38 seconds left. So that's not the smart thing to do, Larry, but let's get it out of the way. One other question somebody had was about these cycles. You remember I said it should be on the 22nd of January and we're the 24th. This is two days off. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. I wouldn't bet on it, but let's uh, do it. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Back, folks, and I have Mark on the line. Thanks for being so patient, my friend. I didn't realize you were still there. What can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Larry Pesaventos. Great to talk to you again. This is Mark. I called back in July to the completion point of a bullish car league back then when the sentiment among Wall Street analysts was extremely pessimistic. And now that we, we have the reciprocal ABCD towards the upside, the sentiment seems to be shifting towards more optimistic now. So I'd like to ask you, what is what would be your ideal stop loss for the golden ratio? Since we're near uh, the completion point of this ABCD. 20, 20 handles on the S&P. Uh, the number was 19, 30, uh, 49.35, so your stop would be 49.55. That's $1,000. That's the most you have to risk. Awesome. And by the way, we appreciate your work, Mr. Larry Pesendo. <laughs> we are a group of traders that follow your work. Since you are one of our uh, veteran practitioners, we follow and respect your work. So we want to say thank you for all you do. Well, thank, thank you so much. That makes my day. I wish you could help me with my Internet problem, but I'm okay. But thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate it, Mark. Keep up the good work. Yeah, those are minimum, those are minimum issues. But thank you for, okay, for being here for us. Appreciate it. Thank you. You bet. Thank you for calling in, Mark. Oh, forgot to get his address for the twenty buck. Son of a gun. Anyway, here's the S and P again. Um, let's just put up the daily here because uh, oh, it sold off a bit. Well, just major support right now, I guess. Anyway, that number we were looking at was forty nine thirty five, and so far high has been forty nine thirty three and a quarter. But this is nothing. I mean, this is uh, not much. You know, in other words, in order for this thing to mean anything, folks. We would have to get way down. Well, let's see what the 382 would be on this, just for kicks and giggles. Oh, well, the 382 would be, well, it's not that far away. It's at 49.05. We started getting below 49.10. Uh, I would say, well, maybe that may or may not be a high. So that's still a little bit early in the game, so let's not worry about it. I have a question here from someone about the wheat market. So let's get up here, get wheat up to date here. And I'll uh, see where we are here with the old May wheat. I think we're getting into uh, May pretty soon, aren't we? No, we're still in March. Hold on. We got, well, this is January, Larry. Hello. I think we have January, February, then March. So there's the wheat now. We've had a nice move coming off of this big bottom that we had right here. That's uh, was nice right at the 786, as you can see here. Now we're having a pretty good volley. We had a 382 backed off. Now we are getting close to playing the ball game. Let's get cleaned out here and so we can see it all together, get back to the old ABCDs. You're going to be looking at the first ABC is right here. A, B, C, D. We'll draw that in for you boys and girls. There's your A, B leg. There's your C, D leg coming in uh, pretty close to where it's supposed to be. And now look what's happened. You see, we've already exceeded the rally from the last one. That tells you that this market is acting pretty strong. So you want to do what? 
is the 382 of the all-time high from December. Remember, this was trading at 1280 a bushel uh, about two years ago, and nobody thought they would ever have wheat again, and now they can't find anybody that wants to buy it. And as of today, we hit the exact 50% retracement here. It could be interesting because we're up one, two, three, four, five days in a row. The second thing you want to do is measure the high from right here and see what that one comes in at. And it comes in within a heartbeat of the uh, within about four cents. There's your 61. So you want to see if there's an ABCD. You go down to the 60-minute chart. And lo and behold, Mr. Benoit Mandelbrot sure brought us something pretty good along with H.M. Gartley. And you'll be able to see here where we are, okay? We're going to draw these in because this happens to be your first ABCD right there. There's your ABCD, and it comes in today at 11. And then we got another one coming in here right behind it, and it's coming in at, uh, at 11. And then we got another one coming in here on the whoopsie daisy. Let's don't get crazy. I was a poet and didn't know it. I make it rhyme every time. And there's where we are. There's another ABCD coming in here. Get this tied up, uh, peers around. So we have one, two, three ABCD patterns coming in from 611, 611, and 608. We're trading at 609 and three quarters. So that's it. One other thing you should do is to measure your expansion numbers. From this one to this one, you'll see we went uh, right up to the 61%, re 1.618. So what you want to do is do the next one because that could do, that's where your stop point would be. You smack that there. You get above this level, trouble in River City, so you don't want to be short wheat if it gets above 620. Right now, we are up one, two, three, four, five-day rally in a bear market. So this is probably the area where you want to be looking to short the wheat. But if you're going to be selling soybeans like we already are short, you don't want to sell the wheat because you'd be double exposure to your risk, and that is not a good – that's not good. You know what I mean? That's just not very good. Remember the old – when you're learning English, sayonara means goodbye in Japanese. Vaya con Dios means goodbye in Spanish. Hasta luego means goodbye in Mexican. And going above the 1.618 is goodbye in any language. All right, let's move on to the next one here see where we're going with some of these other things. Someone's asked me a question about, uh, oh, dear, I haven't heard this one in a while. Let's take a look at the hogs because we uh, sold some, bought some hogs, sold some hogs, get up to the old February hogs here. There, oh, it's cattle. See, cattle is different than hogs, isn't it? Yeah. Here's February hogs. Uh, we had a nice little rally off the, off the bottom here. You'll see we got down, well, Here's what happened. Look, you can see here, uh, we only backed off to the 382 here. It's gone higher. Cattle haven't, but the, the uh, hogs, but they're different. Remember, get this out. Let me get this. I'll just move this out of the way. There you go. So there was the really nice big ABCD to the downside. We bought them in here. We got to have them up in here. The pullback right here, look at this, folks. Down one, two, three, four, five, six days. And all it can do is make a 382 retracement. Look at that. I mean, isn't that, don't you think that'd be worth something? People would pay money to see why these things work. Do they work all the time? No. That's why they don't pay money for it. Because unless it works all the time, they don't want to have anything to do with it. And I don't blame them. I wouldn't either. So the next move we're looking at in hogs here, given the fact that we had this big move here following through today, your ABCD would be lined up right here, marking it right there, and we'd be looking at another five cents higher in the hogs, okay? And if you spread this out just a bit, you'll see that level would take you almost to the 78% level of the high, which was way back here at 84. And there it is, right there, between 80, between 78 and 79. That's where the ball game will be played in hogs, right about this level right about here. Stay tuned for the exact price because I don't know what it is and neither does anybody else. And that's the secret of trading. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. That should be your mantra 
to try to do things for other people, which I've certainly tried to do that. I got panhandled here in Vegas. That was exciting. The guy came up to me in his car, nice car. He said, I need money for gas. He's a young fellow in his late 20s. And I said, how do I know you need gas? He said, look at my empty tank. And I looked and boy, it was bone dry. And I gave him 10 bucks. And I was happy I did. Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hey, folks, uh, here is the um, crude oil. We had it uh, this last couple of days. There's the ABCD, double ABCD, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Question was, what's first profit objective? Well, you can see the first ABC, the second ABCD, the profit objective would have been right here. We're substantially below that, so you've got to go to the second one, which would be right here, and that would bring you all the way down to uh, 74.30. So let's assume 74.30 is going to be the number. We'll move this over, 74.30, and then you want to find out what your ratios are to the downside. And that would come in here between 74, there's 74.30 right there. You can see it. There's your, we're 60 pips away from that. One other thing, if I'm going to do this the seminar, which I think I'm going to in April or May in Las Vegas, uh, years ago, Mark and I would do, Mark Douglas and I would do two a year. Uh, we charge $5,000 for a week. Remember, this was back in the 80s, 80, 90, 88, 91, 93. Quit doing them in 93, but we would offer a money-back guarantee that if we weren't profitable in the week, 
everybody got their money back. I'm only going to be doing two days, and that's not really fair to say that uh, if I didn't make any money that I would get it. So I'm going to offer, I believe, a double your money back. So if you lose the amount of money that uh, that I lose on the thing, I mean, if I, if I don't make any money, not only will I give the money back to the people that, that paid for the thing, I will double their money, whatever that tuition happens to be. That's what I'm thinking of doing. And I told that to Sarah, and she says, well, if you do that, I think you're crazy. And I said, here, you already know that I'm crazy. I said, now the question is, is to what degree? I asked Larry Williams about that, and he said, don't do that. He said, give the money back. He said, but don't offer double the money back, he said, because they'll do everything to sabotage what they can do just to double their money. I said, you know, that's probably a good idea, Larry. So I won't do a double money back guarantee, but I am going to offer a 100% guarantee that if I don't make money in two days, might lose the first day, might lose the second day, but on the two days, I should be profitable. And I hope that's the case. Remember, I use short-term stuff, so that don't mean much short-term. Longer-term, all this stuff is important. I love you guys. Thanks for helping me through today. It made it easy. Thank you, Mark, for calling in and live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless us. See you on the flip side tomorrow, God willing.